another big game coming up. Uh, Wyoming, um, maybe not perceived as big as Michigan State's game was, but uh, what have you guys been working on? What, was, what were you doing in walkthroughs today? Uh, just making sure we have 100% assignments across the board. Everybody knows what guy they got, where they got to be on every play. Do you think a, a team like Wyoming, do they, will they force you in particular, the tight ends, to, to do more blocking? Or, the, or do you think they'll show you something where you can release a little bit more to get out into the field? Uh, we got their defense diagnosed pretty well. So, I mean, there's going to be a couple shots for us to get the ball, but we're also going to have to do a lot up front. When they, uh, they run the Stanford 2 sort of umbrella coverage, does that open up the middle for you guys more at all, you think, especially with the speed outside? Uh, we're going to try to get the gaps in between the uh, Tampa backer and that Sam, I mean the safety, so we're going to try to get some more shots in there. It seems like you guys haven't had a lot of targets, a lot of receptions so far this season. Do you feel like you kind of have to hit the ball a few times to get going, or do you guys feel like all three of you are in a good rhythm so far this season? Uh, we're all in a good rhythm. It's all game plan, you know. Um, we'll look at a team and be like, okay, you know, the X is going to have a big game right here. Tight end is going to have to do a lot up front. So uh, it's just really game plan when it comes down to it. Do you feel like it's still a three-way battle for playing time at tight end, or is it sort of this rotation that, that seems like it's just going to be what it is until something else happens? Um, we're just taking it week to week, you know, practice to practice. Uh, Coach Oz is going to put the best two, you know, if we're in double tight, who, who's going to be most effective. So, I mean, if it's going to be a line of scrimmage game, it might be different guys, but, I mean, if they want us catching the ball, then – it could be different. It seemed like after Andre went down, uh, there was a lot more two tight ends, had a lot more tight end on the line of scrimmage on, on Tyrell's side. Mm -hmm. Is that something just in general that's going to happen going forward? Do you feel like there's going to be more you know, on the line blocking tight end assignments, two tight end assignments to that end? Again, it comes down to game plan. It depends how their ends are playing them, uh, whether we think Tyrell can take him by himself or if we want to double team him, just really just the front. What do you think going into the Pac-12 season, you know, going into this game, out of this game, what's the biggest thing you think the tight ends and, and the offense as a whole still needs to improve upon? Uh, tight ends, we need to block more up front. You know, we need to move guys off the line of scrimmage and just play every down as fast as we can, get up, get lined up, push the tempo. How do you grade out a game um, when you're not, you just no big visible plays, not getting the ball, not a bunch of big, you know, pancake blocks. So how do you grade out a game on film watching like the Michigan State game for example? I mean every play we, we got to be on one guy got to be on the right shoulder right technique and uh, the coaches will grade you you know tell you what did wrong so I mean every single play you got to be doing something right. Uh, Pharaoh has his his dance that he does in in pregame whenever we see it up on the uh, on the jumbo do you know what that's called? I have no clue what that's called it's pretty funny to see but uh, Pharaoh's a pretty funny guy. What uh, Farrell calls it the sneaking and geeking. Is that does that seem pretty appropriate for him? Yeah, definitely him. Uh, I don't know half the stuff he's doing half the time, but uh, that's just kind of Farrell. You just kind of accept it and just laugh.